Welcome to eBay, one of the biggest e-commerce websites in the world. With the help of this video, we aim to show you how to create a listing on the website and start selling to our 179 million active buyers across more than 190 countries. With over 1.2 billion listings and a gross merchandise value of over $95 billion in 2018, eBay is the perfect platform for you to grow your business. If you are here to create a listing, you must have already registered as a seller on eBay. We shall now show you how to list your product efficiently and ensure maximum clicks and sales of your products. So, let's begin. Step 1. Sign in to your account on www.ebay.com and click on Sell. Before you start listing your product, you will first be prompted to answer what exactly you are selling. It will help eBay categorize your product in the right family, making it easier for a potential buyer to search for it. Step 2. Start typing the name of your product. A suggestions drop-down menu will appear as soon as you start typing. That makes it really easy for you to select your product. Click on the appropriate option from the menu. If you're selling something unique, you can select your category manually by clicking on Browse Categories. You will now see a menu of categories that you can select from based on the product you are listing. For example, we will show you how to list a kurti. So select the main category of clothing, shoes and accessories. Now you need to select the leaf categories. Since kurtis come under traditional clothing, in the next menu, click on world and traditional clothing. Select the next leaf category as India and Pakistan. The last category would be kurta. When you are satisfied with your selection, click on get started. You are now prompted to the Listing Details page where you can enter more details of the product. Step 3. Input a suitable title that talks about the product and will attract buyers. Step 4. For a small fee, you can input a subtitle that gives the buyers a few more details of the product. Be as honest as possible. It gives you a better chance to sell your product and receive positive reviews from customers. Step 5. You may choose to add multiple variations in your listings based on the product you sell. Click on Create Variations. You have now been prompted to the page where you can create your own variations. Let's show you the example of a size variation. Click on Size. You can create multiple variations in size like one size, small, medium, large, Excel and others by clicking on the appropriate size. If you wish to create your own size variations, click on Create Your Own. You as a seller know your product the best. Therefore, you can add more attributes as per your choice by clicking on Add. Once you have selected the required variations, click on Continue. Step 6. Input the Universal Product Code or UPC by clicking on the drop-down menu. Click on the appropriate option that applies to your product. Step 7. Since you could be selling used or brand new items, make sure you tell your buyers the item condition. Buyers want to know whether they are purchasing an old, used or new item. Click on the drop-down menu and click on the option that best describes your product. You must be honest as buyers will give you positive reviews if they receive exactly what you have specified. In the box below, give a detailed and honest description of the item condition. Step 8. Upload up to 12 pictures of the product. They must be clear and large enough for the customer to use eBay's Zoom feature. They must show the product well and attractively, yet not misrepresent it. For a small fee, you can choose to display larger photos in the search results, which makes buyers more likely to click on your product. Step 9. It's time to provide your item specifics. 
eBay recommends that you add minute details which will help the buyer understand the type of product and its functions better. Item specifics help improve the search visibility of your product. You can maximize the specifications by adding your own parameters for your products by clicking on Add your own item specific. Step 10. Next, you will find a box where you can describe your product as per custom policy. Ensure that you keep your item description short and crisp, but clearly call out the item specifics. Since we are giving the example of a kurti, you must add a size chart so that the buyer can choose the perfect size for themselves. Here, choose to make your description mobile friendly so that buyers using our mobile apps can access your product, increasing your chances of sales. Step 11. Choose the appropriate listing format by clicking on the drop-down menu. Choose from two main types of formats, the auction style or the fixed price format. Step 12. Specify the duration of the listing, signifying how long it will stay up in the eBay marketplace. Click on the drop-down menu. Choose from a range of options for maximum visibility of your product on the website. Step 13. Schedule your listing. You can choose to start your listing immediately or schedule it to start at a later date so as to catch your buyers at the optimum time. Step 14. Set a competitive price for the product to entice them into choosing your product. The price must be as per the site currency and competitive enough to give you that edge over other sellers. If you are flexible on your pricing, choose to give your buyers the option to provide you with their best offer. It might be lesser than your buy it now price, but it will certainly lead to faster sale of your product. Step 15. Input the quantity of items you wish to sell on this listing. Step 16. It's time to specify your shipping details. Create your business policies for each product that you list on eBay. Add the payment policy by clicking on it. Then, choose the shipping policy. Here you can edit your shipping and handling cost as well as the handling time. These are very important details as the buyers will keep them in mind before making their decision. Next, choose the return policy that best suits your product and can help resolve buyer concerns. Step 17. Specify your package weight and dimensions accurately for the benefit of the buyer. Also, include the current location of your product. Make sure your item location and your shipping services are accurate. Step 18. Avail of eBay's wide array of chargeable promotion tools to boost your product's visibility and to make sure that they stand out of the crowd. Step 19. Don't forget to check the fees applicable for this listing and make amendments to your listing as per your choice. Step 20. Not sure of how your listing will look? Click on Preview to see it before it goes live. Look at how incredible your listing looks. If you have followed all the steps correctly, your listing is going to impress all your potential buyers. Take a minute to go through every detail and make sure there are no minor errors. Step 21. Once you're happy with all the details that you have input, click on List Item and that's it. Congratulations! You have just made your first eBay listing. You have now been directed to the My eBay Activity page where you can find all your listings. In case you want to alter or delete listings, it can be done on this page. Now sit back and enjoy as buyers from all over the world will learn about your product and purchase it. Before we proceed, here is a quick summary of all the steps. There are 21 steps to create a listing. 1. Click on Sell 2. Specify the product category 3. Input a title 4. Input an optional subtitle. 5. Create product variations. 6. Input the UPC, Universal Product Code. 7. Specify the item condition. 8. Upload the product pictures. 
9. Mention item specifics. 10. Input the product description. 11. Choose a listing format. 12. Specify the listing duration. 13. Schedule your listing. 14. Set a price. 15. Mention the quantity of products. 16. Specify the business policies. 17. Input your package weight and dimensions. 18. Avail of promotion tools. 19. Check applicable fees. 20. Preview your listing. 21. List your product. But I'm sure you must be wondering, even though you have done all these steps, how do I boost my sales to stay ahead of the competition? To help you boost your product sales, here are some tips and tricks. Make your products irresistible for buyers to click on. One of the most highlighted feature of the listing is the images of your product. Buyers tend to make decisions based on the images they see. Thus, good quality images tend to result in much better sales. Do not use images with heavy backgrounds, close-up shots or with watermarks. eBay does not recommend it. They can hamper the sale of your product since buyers are less likely to click on it. Instead, use images like the one on the right. Here are a few tips that you should keep in mind while clicking and uploading your product images. Use a plain and uncluttered background. Do not use the flash to click the images. Use a tripod to prevent softness and blur. Do not take the image while holding the camera in your hand. Your pictures must be high resolution with a minimum of 500 by 500 pixels. However, eBay recommends that the pictures be at least 800 by 800 pixels to avail of the zoom feature. Fill the frame with the product. Unnecessary white space must be avoided. You must capture all angles, details and blemishes so that the buyer gets all the information to buy the product. Capture detailed close-up shots. Do not use watermarks in your images. These steps will ensure you have the perfect photos for your listing. Another very important feature of the listing is the title of your product. A good title is the first thing that attracts a buyer towards your listing. This is an example of an incomplete listing and a very short title without any description of the product. Do not use titles like these. Here are some steps to create a great title. An effective title of 60 to 80 characters long increases the chances of selling your product. Include the brand, color, size, what it's made of and any other special details. Avoid using hype words like super, totally awesome, limited edition and amazing. Include all the words a person might use to search for your item. Example, cup, mug, glass, tea set. Avoid using special characters like hashtags, inverted commas, dashes and spamming of keywords by repeating them. A good title already gives the buyer so much information even before reading the description. That's what makes them effective. Moving on to product condition. When describing the product's condition, honesty is the best way to go. Buyers always expect to get what they pay for. So make sure you are accurate when choosing your item's condition. If your product has any scratches, marks or other defects, be sure to include photos that show them clearly. An important detail in the listing process is knowing your product's Universal Product Code or UPC like Manufacturer Part Numbers MPN, Universal Product Code UPC, International Standard Book Number ISBN or European Article Number EAN. Another important step in the listing process is describing your item. You must use eBay recommended tags to describe your product so that potential buyers can access your product faster in a search. Having a great description can be the reason why a buyer chooses your product over your competitor's product. During the listing process, you will be prompted to select a listing format. Let's help you understand what they are. The first one is the auction style format. 
With this method, you decide a base price for your product, after which you will start receiving bids for a period of 1, 3, 5, 7 or 10 days as decided by you. Thus, you can choose to sell to the highest bidder. The next one is the fixed price format. With this format, you can set a fixed price for your listing, which is the price the buyer can purchase your product. This listing is valid till it's cancelled. eBay recommends to use the good till cancelled option as it creates sales history that helps track your progress. The last method involves a blend of the previous two. You list your product as an auction listing while giving the buyer an option to buy it now. It can thus be bought at the fixed price immediately. Try to determine whether you have a specific price in mind for your item. If you do, you may want to choose the fixed price listing option. However, an auction style listing could mean that the winning bid might exceed your initial expectations. Depending on how you list your item, choose the listing format and duration to suit your needs eBay recommends the fixed price listing since it helps create a sale history and an intact buyer watch list. Another factor that plays a major role in the purchase of your product is the price. Price your item competitively and consider accepting the best offer if you are flexible on price. Set a price for your item to attract buyers. When you are creating your listing, eBay will provide pricing recommendations based on similar items that sold on the site to help improve your chances of selling. Increase your chances of selling faster by also selecting best offer in your listing. With this feature, you can prompt the listing to auto-accept or auto-decline bids from potential buyers. Some sellers choose to price auction items low, which increases search visibility and set a reserve price for a fee at the time of listing which ensures a minimum sale price. This approach can be useful for hard-to-find items that will eventually sell to the right buyer. The eBay marketplace is huge, hence it is likely that a product similar to yours could have been sold in the past. To see what buyers have paid in the past, search your product using Advanced Search and select Sold Listings. Buyers are looking for great selection at a great price and will also consider the cost of shipping as they shop. Hence, you must price competitively. eBay offers some additional chargeable options to make your listings more prominent. You can choose to make your title appear bold or to make your image appear large and set it apart in the search results. You can also choose to schedule your listings and catch your buyers at the right time. Give your product that competitive edge by opting for a combination of these facilities, which are economical and tailor-made for your product. We thank you for watching this video and hope that you have learned some more about the global marketplace of eBay which will take your business to greater heights. Please share this video with anyone who sells on eBay or wishes to join our ever-expanding clan. Until next time, keep selling and keep smiling.